Hi, I'm Becky from Let's Make Geek Stuff, and today I'm making Galadriel's Armor from the Ring of Power series. This is all made from EVA foam and it isn't as hard as you think. Let's get started. For this project, I'm using six millimeter and four millimeter EVA craft foam. I bought both of these rolls at my local craft store here in the United States. For details, highly recommend getting some EVA molding foam also bought at the craft store. You'll need a rotary tool with a fine grit sanding burl. You'll need a box cutter, a sharp pair of scissors, your glue of your choice, I like to use contact cement, and you will need Velcro for the fastening. Um, also a fun little detail, if you have googly eyes, we can use those for ribbons. I've cut out all my pieces, I've labeled them, I've made sure to put on all the little notches. I'll need those when I go to glue it together. One thing I found working with this rolled up foam was that I needed to heat it and let it cool laying flat so that it stopped curling up. So you have a good overview of how the pieces will fit together. This is the front and this is the back. I'm starting on the back. I have all my pieces labeled and laid out how I'm going to glue them. I'm going to start by gluing these two sides together. Now that I've applied the contact cement, I'm going to wait 10 or 15 minutes until the glue loses its shininess and then it will be ready to uh, put together. While I'm waiting for these to dry, I'm going to uh, glue these two large back pieces together. So as I go to glue these together, I'm going to be sure to line up these hash marks. Um, even if they don't seem like they would logically line up, if you push or pull the foam and make them line up, it's that pushing and pulling the stretching of the foam that happens that will give the piece its shape. So here's the one I have already glued, glued together and you can see that when it glues together, it gives you kind of that curved shape and that's what we want because this is going to go around the waist um, so keep that in mind i'm going to glue this back piece together i'm going to glue these sides to the back, the underarm area. So on this seam, this notch right here should line up with this seam line right here. So I found I was struggling getting this seam together because it wanted to stick before I was ready for it to stick. And so I've grabbed a square of parchment paper. This is that baking paper people use to make cookies and stuff with, but it's a great tool to help things not stick before you're ready. So if I wrap one side with the parchment paper, then I can focus on getting it to stick where I want it to stick. And then I can pull the parchment paper out. Oh, it popped out. Try that again. All right, had to massage the seam a little bit. That was kind of a tricky seam to glue, I'm not gonna lie, but with a little parchment paper, a little focus and determination, I got it done.
You can see it's already taking shape. I'm going to just add a little heat, uh, not too hot, just a little heat to let everything kind of relax into its new shape. You can see how with just a little heat, it relaxed more into kind of that shape we want for the back piece. Moved on to the front of the chest piece now. And where we're gonna start here is we're gonna start gluing these little darts right here. Whenever you're dealing with these tiny little crevices and you need glue in there, it is helpful just to get a toothpick. Um, make sure the glue gets all the way down in that crack. Um, and then that it doesn't you know, just even everything out. While we're waiting for these darts to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these underarm front pieces together. So I've made sure that it's dry even in that little crack area. In this pattern, this notch is the end of this piece. Our next step is to glue this front upper to the front lower. And while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and apply glue to this seam and this seam, cause we'll glue that next. We're just going to glue this metal seam. Now again, like I did on the back piece, I'm gonna hit with this with some heat and let it kind of relax into its shape. Okay, the chest piece, at least this part is done. At this point, I wanna transfer some of these details from the pattern onto the front that I've finished. These blue lines on the pattern are just guidelines for when we add the details to the front, where they are placed. And so now that I'm done with this pattern piece, I'm gonna cut along this blue line just to create a template for myself. I'm gonna tape this dart together. Now this doesn't need to be perfect. It's just like a general guideline. So I'm just gonna place my pattern piece where it was. And now with my marker, I'm just gonna trace on this detail. And I'm gonna flip it. The same on this side. So now I'll know where these details are gonna get glued on this front piece. 
And then I'm going to do the same for this piece. I'm going to cut that out and trace in the markings. Thanks for joining me. In part two, we'll be putting on the front details. So follow the links. I'll see you there. <laughs>